teacher, Mrs. Frobase here with a lesson inspired by Romero Brito. Today we're going to create a pop art puppy inspired by the beautiful colors and patterns of the artist Brito's work. So first, let me show you what supplies you're gonna need to make this awesome work of art. For this project, I use Display My Art paper, which can be printed from displaymyart.com. You'll need a pencil, a black permanent marker, and other assorted colored markers. Before we begin, let's take a look at Romero Brito's work. Romero Brito is an artist and sculptor who was born in Brazil and currently lives and works in Miami, Florida. His style of art can be described as a mix of pop art, cubism, and graffiti art. He uses bright colors and bold patterns to express happiness, love, hopes, and dreams. Some of his subjects include cats, dogs, hearts, flowers, and happy people. Brito's work is displayed all around the world and has also been Cirque du Soleil at the Super Bowl, and he has also served as an official artist for the 2010 World Cup. He's also collaborated with many brands, such as Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Walt Disney, Universal Pictures, Carnival Cruise Line, Hasbro, and Mattel, to name a few. Brito is a strong believer in the role of an artist as an agent of positive change, and also has donated to over 250 charitable organizations. Using Brito's style of bold black lines, big shapes, happy pictures, and bold, colorful patterns, we're going to create a puppy. So grab your paper and pencil to get started. I'm gonna start right in the center of my paper with the dog's nose. Do this by making a small V and then closing the top to create a triangle. To finish his snout, I'm going to draw two oval or circles on the sides of the nose starting at the top point of the triangle, around to the middle, and the same on the other side. Next, I'm going to make his tongue with a little U line right here in the middle, and then draw a straight line right down the center. On these two points of the nose, I'm going to draw two straight vertical lines upward. We're going to make the ears on the sides with a curved line down to the middle and the same on the other side. On the end of that line, draw a short line slightly curved upward to meet at his snout. For the top of his head, come down slightly and just make a horizontal line connecting the two ears and draw two little oval eyes right in the middle. In his body, we're going to make his legs. Right under his snout on one side, draw a long vertical line, vertical line under his tongue, and on the other side of his snout. For his paw, I'm gonna start on the outer line and draw three bumps, one, two, three, and meet in the center on each side. For his hind leg, start on the top side, make a big curved line almost like a letter C, and then do the opposite on the other side. On the open end, I'm just gonna make a little curve and meet back at the other foot. Then I'm going to imagine where his tail might be in the back. Last, I'm going to create some lines radiating from the center puppy out to the edges. Just think of it as rays of the sun. Don't make too many as we'll be creating patterns within each section. And our pencil drawing is complete. Step number two, you're going to trace over your lines with a black permanent marker. Step number three, we're going to use that same permanent marker to create patterns. So let's think of shapes, lines, symbols, any kind of design we can fill in each separate shape with something different. Let's get creative. And now 
Now for the final step, which is to color it in. Use a lot of brightly colored markers. And if they're not too dark, you can color right over your permanent marker patterns and you should still be able to see them. fill up your entire paper with color. And maybe you have some other ideas for the subject. For example, I made this one using my handprint. I still divided my paper into sections and used patterns and bright colors. I hope you had fun creating with me today for Display My Art products. You can also find me at In the Studio with Mrs. Frobase for more great art tutorials. Have a great day!